the 10 boats really so close together. There's inches in it, and sometimes there's no inches. I was like, okay, uh, we don't know what's next. It's everything so new to us. And when the line goes white, season four is on. Great start from Canada and Australia. The big surprise is Team Germany in fifth place. Whoa. Their very first fleet start with no practice, and they're right there in the middle of the pack. Nice push. Mark one, and Germany is still holding on to their fifth place, just behind no other than Sir Ben Ainsley. Who could have expected this? Hats off to the Germans. They are sailing super well. No one was expecting it. Maybe we should have been. Onboard Team Germany with Kahena Kunz, Team Strategist. This season, strategists will have the ability to control more of the functions on the F-50. Power's down. We have time. The most incredible thing is the G-forces, when you feel you're reaching and then you bear away and you feel like your head is almost like getting out of the boat and your body's like apart from your head. A lot of boats already turning and the USA, wow, they get pretty loose, they fly. Oh, it's a repeat of last season, they're off the foil so slow. Disaster for the United States after a great start. I don't know what we've done wrong in Chicago. To, we struggle to be able to get a result here or get a decent race together. OK, turning up here in three, two, First downwind gate, Australia leading, Emirates GBR is third, and in second place, Canada's Sail GP team. Wow, going really tight on the cross. Bill Robertson, he needs to make a statement on this Grand Prix. Yeah, Team Canada's ownership's going to change very, very soon, and whether Phil is going to remain as the driver is yet to be decided. Yeah, um, new owners coming in are most likely to shake things up. They take a different look at how the team should run. Nathan Outridge is on the sidelines. He's itching to get in. He's one of the best sailors in the world. So, yeah, in my view, I'd, I'd stick with Phil. I think they're, they're, they're going in the right direction. But Nathan's been in a f two finals. First up win leg, Team Germany's fourth, just ahead of no other than Peter Burling and New Zealand. Well, yeah, it seems like a good time to remember that Eric Heil has two Olympic bronzes and that Kahena has two golds. I think the cup guys who haven't raced him on the race course are like, there's a German team. I don't know, I don't know them. But though I think anyone who's been on the race course with them in the Olympic scene, lining up against him for years, are like, yeah, what else did you think was gonna happen? This is leg three, and Germany's still holding fourth position. I've been told that Sebastian Vettel's following the race very closely from Germany. Huge tech deployment by Thomas Riedel. What I would put in place is technology which allows Sebastian to experience the race from as many angles as possible. We could talk to him, he could listen to the radio communications. Gate three, Tom Slingsby and the Aussies are on the lead. Team Canada and Emirates GBR follow just behind in striking distance. These Aussies look as strong as ever before. No mistakes so far. Perfect coordination with everyone on board. Offers were made to buy the crew from the Aussies, but Tom managed to keep his lineup intact. A couple of our guys refused about three times the, the paycheck we can offer them. Uh, which is, it's a lot. Good, good hook up here, guys. I don't get their numbers, so I can't see A big one for me, I guess, is Ed Powell, he's our reserve sailor. They offered him, said, look, you'll race every race this season if you come with us and more money. And he said, no, no, I'd prefer to be the reserve on Team Australia. Pointing below the mark, right. Behind Australia, the Germans are on a tight battle with New Zealand for fourth position. Watch out for a tight cross. It looks like neither the Kiwis or the Germans are going to give way. I cannot imagine what staring down that black double-hulled catamaran of the Kiwi boat is. It's like staring at guys doing the haka right at you, you know? Wow, that was so close. Peter Burling and the Kiwis are now fourth, just ahead of the Germans. Peter Burling is hungry. They were so close last season, and now the Kiwis are fighting for every inch. If someone can dethrone Tom Slingsby, that is Peter Burling. First race of season four is coming to an end. Leg five, Australia still in the lead. Behind, Ben Ainsley is attacking Team Canada for second place. The finish line is in sight. Ben Ainsley only made it here to Chicago a few hours ago, but his sailing remains brutally sharp. What a great way to pay tribute to his friend, Mel Coleman. 
Mel was a really, really close friend of mine, great guy, a very successful sailor in his own right. Just a lovely guy and a huge, huge fan of CLGP. So whilst it was a you know, really sad uh, period to lose him, I'm sure he's looking down on us and watching the racing and still got a smile on his face. It's tight, it's very, very tight. Ben needs to cross ahead of Canada. Very aggressive move from Phil Robertson, turning towards the Brits. Ben squeezes out and he makes it. Emirates GBR overtakes Canada for second position. And it looks like Ben Ainsley will have to settle for second because the Australians are far ahead in first. In the first race of the season, Tom's fight to keep this team together has paid off. We had a really good vibe on the boat. We're all joking and laughing and uh, typical Aussies giving each other a hard time. And... Not swearing. No swearing, no, we never swear. I don't think I've ever sworn in my life, actually. In sixth position, the surprise of day one, race one, is undoubtedly right, Team Germany. Right, right, I'm not an expert in sailing, but I can read people, and I think some things, there's some, there's some magic in the air. Germans now sitting sixth, right, and they're coming into the top mark, have to do this really difficult double turn. We can close the front. There's this thing they call the flip-flop, where if your double turn is that close, you put both the boards down, Board down, and you leave them down. You don't bring the windward side up when you turn. Turning. It kind of looks like the Germans didn't know that, you know? So instead, they've pulled the board up, and now they need to turn back, and that board's not going down. Board down. I didn't press the board down, but I thought I pressed it because you, you're just looking forward, right? And I have to look around for the boats. So I thought I pressed it, and then I was counting down. I'm waiting for the G1 to tell me how many seconds is left before I can turn. And then I looked at the board and was still up. Board down. Eric's just like kicking the boat, trying to get the board down in time. And you see them just sail off the course, open the door to the two guys behind them before they're actually able to turn back. Oh, Germany misses the gate just when a sixth place was well within reach. Super close, but sixth and seventh slip away from them. Germans round an eighth. But still, they've got two teams behind them, you know? They shouldn't even be disappointed. They were in the mix almost the whole race, crushing it. Race one, day one. Wow. That's awesome, guys. Honestly, that is absolutely mint. Hey, good one, guys. You can stay through the speed even that one. <laughs> I am really, uh, I'm really uh, surprised, guys. Positively surprised about that. Uh, really nice work today. <laughs> Amazing. First race, start line, finish line, and we were competing. Well, really well done, guys. Really good. I think Team Germany's performance for their first ever race day in CLGP, I, I think it was the most impressive we've seen out of any rookie team. Thank you very much. Can you hear us? It was a little bit of a surprise because we didn't tell the team that Sebastian uh, was online and uh, and then he was, uh, yeah, well, giving his congratulations uh, to the team because the result was was really good today. Good day, guys. Impressive. Yeah, thank you, Sebastian. Awesome. Cheers, Sebastian. Thank you. Bye. Now I hit the guys. End of day one, just one point between Australia and New Zealand. They pick up their championship fight just where they left it a few weeks ago. Team Canada is in a strong third after a race win. And yeah, it was nice. I think the team wanted to put all the chat behind us and, and go and do some business. And We're a squad that's quite new still. We're maybe 18 months old. And we started from nothing. And now we're fighting near the top. And we're competitive now, and we've got some big steps to take as well. So yeah, if I was another team, I'd be watching out for us. Hey. We Thank saw you. the the Germans a few times today, which is a huge compliment to them. We're the defending champions, and we were racing around with them out there on their first race day in South GP. I thought they were really impressive. I think there's still for sure a lot of uh, incidents, and uh... for now, it feels like um, uh, we didn't feel so good after the race. The fact that I hear that he's not happy with his first day that makes me respect him more because he's got the drive, he's got that sort of mongrel in him 
that he's not here just to make up the numbers, he's here to get results. And I know that's how I would be. If it was my first day, I'm there to win. And so it sounds like he's similar to me, so yeah, good on him. That's amazing. I thought it was a really impressive first day. Well, this creates goosebumps because, you know, I'm running my business for 36 years, so uh, it's quite some time ago that this was a startup. But all these feelings are back, and it's really like, like the first days of my own business. Really good job, man. And uh, going through this again with this fantastic young team is super cool. I love it. It's super fast. You see at the start when everybody is like this. Exactly. And it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I often struggle to even define what is the first day of something. Because if you look already on the journey that we have been, and, and even Eric have been before I even started joining, or Thomas has been, it doesn't feel like a first day today. It feels more like a first major achievement on our journey. So we leave Chicago with a victory for the Kiwis, and the fight is on. New Zealand and Australia, Australia and New Zealand. The rivalry between these two great nations is just growing and growing. If I could choose one boat that we really not like to lose to, it's always New Zealand. It's New Zealand even aside from Sao GP, it's just Aussie Kiwi thing. You know, it's nice to win these, these events but that's really just a stepping stone to, to try and make it into the final and to, and to try and win the season. You know, those um, fans just mean the world to us to, to be able to, you know, go out and race for some passionate fans is uh, absolutely amazing. Oracle Los Angeles Grand Prix is next. Team Switzerland and Team Spain both won races in Chicago. Sebastian Schneider and Diego Bottin, are they ready to turn their teams around? Is Sebastian Schneider making the most of his partnership with Nathan Altridge? Will Jimmy Spittle break the spell and finally win in home waters? The fleet is ready, $5 million on the line.